Good morning, Pio Nation. I hope you're having a great day. We actually have uh, quite a few people here mm -hmm. uh, to cast. Uh, I'm Matt Williamson. I'm Dylan Poles. And I'm Aaron Elliott. Can't see Aaron because he's kind of <laughs> off the side, but uh, so you are watching, I cannot see myself here in the camera. Uh, so you're watching Marietta College Esports. Uh, we have a really exciting match for you today. Uh, so we have Marietta College up against Aquinas College in Overwatch. Uh, this is a programming note. That's the only match we're going to be broadcasting today. Uh, we didn't have a Rocket League match this morning because Aquinas is actually uh, at DreamHack Atlanta as we speak because they will be competing in the NACE Rocket League National Finals. Uh, so we will be playing them. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that will be Monday at 9 o'clock in the, the evening. And then tomorrow, our League of Legends team will be going up against Aquinas. Um, yeah, so that'll be at 3 p.m. Now, we're almost ready with our match. So I'm going to go and get the starting lineup real quickly before uh, we get the game underway. So uh, for our tanks, uh, we have Neptune. Now, Lorx Q8 was not able to make it today. He's out of town. So I believe Shadow Dragon will be taken over as the second tank position. Uh, for DPS, uh, we'll have Chucks. And uh, I believe it's going to be... Actually, no, Shaken Dwarf is the tank. Sorry. And then uh, Shadow Dragon will be DPS. And then for support would be Brimstone. And actually, Shadow Angel will be, I believe, supporting today. So we had to kind of play musical roles because yeah. some people have been mm -hmm. out. Honestly, a little bit earlier, I wasn't so sure we were going to be able to have a full team, but everyone was able to make it. Um, so this is going to be a best of three. Okay. And it looks like we're going to be playing uh, Escort on Rialto first. Okay. Uh, so I think everyone's saying that they're ready. So as soon as uh, we get that started, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to make sure the audio is set up mm -hmm. so that way we can hear the game. And hopefully it doesn't crash like what happened a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how the, uh, the sub outs kind of play into this match here mm -hmm. with having some DPS playing tank and some uh, support switch around and everything too. All right. So it looks like the game has started up. So we'll go ahead and get uh, this to you. So I should mention that this is the uh, last um, series of matches as part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference. Okay. Uh, so after this weekend, we will not have any more uh, matches in these games for the remainder of the semester. Uh, but we will have one more match in Rainbow Six. We don't have the, the date and time just yet, but we know that's going to be coming up in this further week. So uh, if you want the latest updates of when that match will be and when we'll have our uh, schedule out for next semester... Please be sure to follow us on our uh, Twitter and Facebook pages at Marietta Esports and Marietta College Esports, respectively. Okay. And that will be during next semester that it'll be back as well? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll have conference. We just haven't figured out the schedule for the conference matches next semester. Uh, we were kind of talking about the other day. And while this semester Saturdays work because there were football games in the afternoons, so people mm -hmm. want to go watch those. Mm -hmm. We don't have that next semester, so we might be able to do some of these matches later in the day or maybe even spread it out throughout the week. So okay. we're still working out the details. Yeah, it's right. a new conference, so we, yeah. there's going to be some bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. Very well. All right, so let's see what kind of... Uh, Composition <coughs> they're running here. Yeah, so uh, we would expect, yeah, the, the, the two tank uh, combo with uh, Sigma and Orisa. Mm -hmm. So we see we got, uh, what we got here, McCree. I uh, swapped the Mercy. Yeah. Uh, Mercy and Amoira as our supports here. Mm -hmm. and we are going to be doing an escort. We're going to be pushing through here, seeing... Uh, I always feel like this first corner here is mm -hmm. tricky. Yeah, it's tough. It's a very tight corner. So the defense likes to hold it tight. Yeah, and there's also a, you know the upper areas that you can get to on both these buildings right here. So mm -hmm. there's lots of angles that you have to try to watch for rather than just having shields in front pushing through. Um, there's, there's a lot of flanks you have to watch out for, so. Definitely. <coughs> so far, Mary's doing pretty well with pushing the mm -hmm. payload. Yeah, they, they got past that first choke hold. Looks like she got to watch above. As of right now, Marietta's fairly grouped up trying to get this push going through, but we still have um, the enemy team pushing back with their own Orisa and, uh, and their Moira really pushing through those shields. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the Deadeye from McCree got two kills. Actually, got a triple kill, technically, triple. although Sigma, I think, got the killing blow mm -hmm. in the third kill. At least did enough damage to finish them off, so... Mm -hmm. Looks like we're moving the payload up here. 
defense is just gonna have to set up another choke pull to see if they can hold back, but Vegeta is doing a great job pushing forward here now. We do see the enemy team kind of coming back up here, trying to regroup at this one choke point right here, which is a good point to try to hold this uh, this escort here. Mm -hmm. We do see a, a Doomfist coming in, taking out the Junkrat, um, mm -hmm. and Moira, it looks like, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the Doomfist. Actually, a lot of Marietta. Yeah, it really caused a big... <laughs> yeah, Doomfist yeah. was able to set the play there to get a couple down, and then the and Quidius mm -hmm. was able to finish off the rest. They but just cleaned up there. Looks like Marietta's going to have to regroup and push forward again. Yeah, they got less than two minutes left, but they're pretty close to the payload, so I think mm -hmm. they should be okay. Yeah, they almost got that first point, that first uh, checkpoint there. So then get just a little bit further and get past that bridge. And we do see that the more all is up. Sigma is just about to have his ult up, and so um, Shadow Dragon's ult. Yeah, Junkrat's ult is just about ready, and so is Orisa. So they're going to have four, four ults ready for this push. Mm -hmm. I saw that we have a Lucio name. And we see quite a few ults coming out. Let's see the Junkrat rip tire. Okay, so they take out Lucio, so they have no more healing there. Then you watch out for those flanks from Doomfist because he's the able Arisa, to. So looks like one of their tanks is going down. And the Doomfist. All right, now it looks like Marietta College is able to push up here. They just got to clean up that McCree. And they get that. So let's see if they could push forward through this choke point. And I need to watch out for this Lucio here with being on the bridge. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they just didn't get the checkpoint. Definitely. So they got the checkpoint. Aquarius is just holding the, uh, the choke hold, trying to get someone pushed off the edge. Yeah, I'm looking for the, the Lucio knockback here with the, uh, the water kills. Mm -hmm. <coughs> all the time on that bridge there. We see Aquinas starting to make their push with their Sigma ult. That seems uh, ineffective. Here he is holding their uh, good offense here. No frags coming from other teams yet. Just a lot of damage being spread around and healed right up by their supports. Oh yeah, that's still moving forward. <laughs> Out yeah, they got Lisa and Lucio. So yeah, they got two down for Aquinas. Another high news coming out. So the Doomfist comes down with the Meteor Strike. Oh, he gets three from Marietta. So that was a really good use of his ult there. Mercy gets picked off. We do see Mercy and uh, Stigma kind of falling back, trying to get to regroup with Marietta right now, mm -hmm. since there's only those two remaining. Um, once we get the rest of Marietta back up here I imagine we can get a push we're about halfway to the next checkpoint right now mm -hmm. so if they can get a little bit of a push maybe get past this little turn here there is uh, some possibilities from flanks from this doorway back here okay, so but uh, I think the biggest that. issue they've been having right now is maybe that Doomfist just being able to get in there and do some damage with his uh, with his meteor mm -hmm. looks like the enemy team just popped their ult the Rissa dropping that damage multiplier you see Junkrat's ready with his rip tire he needs to find an opportunity to be able to utilize it. Mm -hmm. Marietta is on the retreat right now, trying to get back and keep everyone alive. Right now, Marietta is having trouble getting past this bridge area. Mm -hmm. So if, if they can get a push, now they, there's a couple alties down for... So um, actually, everyone on Marietta has their alt, so... So this would be the time to make a push, because they got about a minute left, mm -hmm. and they're only halfway through Looks this part. they're trying to flank. They have 60 seconds left on the clock to make a move here. <clears throat> about halfway towards the next payload. Looks like they might be trying to do a hard flank to take out the DPS characters. A lot of alts coming in from both teams. You see Doomfist managed to take out the Mercy. We still see a lot of ultis being held on to. Mm -hmm. uh, McCree manages to get a double kill onto Orisa and uh, Luc uh, Lucio. But at the same time, the Doomfist is able to take out McCree and someone else as well. So the, the, the big flank did not really work out in Marietta's favor there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're able to hold it off. 
do with this thing. It was just holding that point and he popped the all at the perfect time. I think with these tight corners right now, like Doomfist is one of their bigger issues. Mm -hmm. um, he's able to, his mobility and stuff of popping around. Um, so at this point, they're going to have to stay on the payload to be able to keep this game going. Mm -hmm. And t they're two already down from Marietta, so it's not looking good. No, and there's the uh, overtime dropping down. There's no Marietta left to take it, and it's going to be uh, going one to uh, a, a Queen Aquinas. What was it? What's the name of the school? <laughs> uh, Aquinas. 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 Yes. Aquinas. Okay. Yeah, so it just looks like that Myriad has struggled with trying to focus down people. I mean, yeah, the Doomfist was definitely causing some mm -hmm. disruptions, mm -hmm. and it just seemed like every time he got to the back line, they were not turning around to take care of him. Yeah, definitely. and so, he, has, he has such mobility that he's able to get back there, do some damage, and then push himself back into his team that mm -hmm. uh, he would be in and out before they'd really turn and get on him. So, uh, Also, with the Meteor Strike, a, a lot of it was Marietta being grouped up, so that would do a lot of damage to the group, and then I think the rest of his team was able to kind of pick that off after mm -hmm. that would happen, mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> so we got about the payload about halfway there, so we'll have to see if Marietta is able to hold that defense and uh, prevent them from getting that far this time. It's yeah, if Marietta has better defense on this, they could hold them before they even get to the first checkpoint, possibly. Um, still able to take in a, a win on it. Then. Yeah, that's true. I mean, just because they weren't able to get too far does not necessarily mean that... I mean, it's, it's a disadvantage for sure, yeah. but if they can hold the line, then they have a good shot. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like they're going with the Torbjorn for defense this time, so the extra turrets and maybe even the Molten Core might be able to uh, make a factor mm -hmm. on the defensive side of things. Especially on that chokehold. We do you see them sticking with the uh, Mercy and Moira. The only uh, major change really is, yeah, that... Um, Toy, to, uh, I can never say his name. I used to always call him Toblerone. Tor Tor Torbjorn. I think Torbjorn <laughs> is how you pronounce it. Torbjorn. I mean, you're talking about the person who still cannot get, like, Syndra and Symmetra rights. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see a big flank coming around from the back side behind Marietta here. Um, Torbjorn using the Molten Core gets one pick. And another. Ups a turret down. Okay, so it picks off. And we did have like the entire team come around for a, a rear flank, but it looks like Marietta for the most part was able to kind of hold it back here. He's just pushing back and wow. fishing off uh, Doomfist there, so yeah. is, Torbjorn is already uh, making a difference here. Yeah, yeah, so a very good hold on that point there. Um, we see the uh, the payload has gotten pushed up a little bit, but really not too far. Mm -mm. Marietta's holding their defense very well here. This is a good point to hold. You have some high ground that you can hold on to. It's also tight corridors, so mm -hmm. um, some of these AOE type of uh, moves are going to be very strong. Although we're starting to see Aquinas making that push. Mm -hmm. Like a two for Marietta like already down. Aggressive. Yeah, they get past that corner here, and they're going to be moving on towards the courtyard here. This courtyard actually takes two picks for Marietta. You see Junkrat trying to do some damage here from the back, as well as Mercy keeping uh, keeping that flight going and getting some heals. We do see a lot of Aquinas going down. But that Sigma is trying to hold strong and stay on that payload. We do see the Rip Tire come out, taking out one, the Lucio. But Marietta is not able to get onto this payload to stop it from pushing. They keep on falling back. Mm -hmm. Now right here is going to be a really strong choke point. We'll have to see who comes in favor on this point here. We do see an ulti coming out, taking out three of Marietta. Um, but they, the Tobron does take out the Doomfist. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to wonder if the, the changes in the roles are starting to have an effect here. It's very be possible cause because we have uh, it, one it support and one tank swapped out. Yeah, yeah. so we have a, a different person on support, different person on, uh, as tank. So, like, one of our main tanks is not here, so that coordination between the Orisa and Sigma shields does not seem to be there as much. So I, I think that's part of a factor, because if you notice, like, we have one shield up, but the second shield is not available right away. They actually swap to the Ana. So the alternating between the shields isn't being quite as uh, proficient as it usually is with having a different uh, tank in place here. Support-wise, too, uh, just... You know, sometimes it's the experience of uh, playing support, you know, all the time versus playing DPS all the time and what characters you know and you're most familiar with. Maybe some other supports may have been a better choice rather than the ones that um, 
DPS players are typically familiar with. Yeah, so now Merida's gonna have to make a very big hold here because the payload's <coughs> pretty close to the destination. So if Aquinas wins one more team fight, they will take the, the first game. Mm -hmm. This next checkpoint is gonna be the, a win for them, right? If they get it to that point. If they right get there, to that yellow spot right there, it's yeah, not even the checkpoint, the it's just that spot. It's just that spot. So we're gonna see how Merida's defense holds up. A lot of alts from both sides coming out. And most of Marietta's down, so I think this is going to be it. Yep, yeah, that's going to be taking the game one. Hmm. It could have been uh, a mix of, <clears throat> you know, alternating those uh, those shields, trying to make sure that, like, as you have one coming down, you got another one up ready to go to kind of minimize your damage as much as you can. Um, then also just, you know, this Doomfist here, you're seeing play the game, he was able to come in with his ulti, he'd have that mobility with his punches of coming in, getting back out, mm -hmm. um, maybe just not able to quite take care of him, whether that was through the tank side of things or through the DPS side of things. Um, but we'll have to see maybe some changes going into the next game for Marietta. Right, definitely. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to come up with an answer for the, the Doomfist, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever the next uh, map and game type is. Yeah. So now they, they will not be able to do an escort mission for the next game type. So Correct. We'll most likely be seeing um, the point, having to hold the points. Mm -hmm. So yeah. with seeing one of those, uh, you know, some of the characters may work better than others. Maybe we won't see Doomfist as much, but you're going to have people group, grouped up in a little square. Doomfist might be pretty good. Yeah, it would be... Uh... <clears throat> It will do a lot of damage there. Yeah, I feel like maybe a Reaper pick would be pretty good too. Yeah, we didn't see any Reapers last game, I don't mm -hmm. believe. No, Re uh, Aquinas did a Reaper at the very end because mm -hmm. he uses Death Blossom to oh, you're right. finish off uh, the Pioneers and allowed Aquinas to get that last push to, to take the, the game. Mm -hmm. It's looking like uh, Marietta is going to be going with Busan. Busan? Okay. Yeah, because okay. that, that one's pretty... They do pretty well on that one. They've actually won a couple games uh, on it. So I believe that, and that is what's been set on the lobby. So I have a pretty good feeling that's going to be the the next one. So we're just getting the ready checks out. I personally love that map. So I'm uh, excited to see what Marietta is going to have to do to uh, take the game here and could push it forwards to uh, game three. Oh, it's very likely. I mean, uh, just looking at some of the the match histories from Aquinas, like. Even though like they're zero and seven, as you said, they're still a really good team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we, from our history, from the, a lot of the teams in the conference, they're very good schools. So the record does not necessarily speak for how they've played all season, but a lot of those were like one and twos. Mm -hmm. So it's very possible. It's very well possible that this game could be a two-one either side. So hopefully, with this map being favorable to Marietta, that uh, they'll be able to take this. Mm -hmm. Take it and bring it back into a 1-1, one, one, and then we'll see. So let's see what kind of changes they make up, if uh, any uh, characters from the rosters change up a little bit here. Maybe some different supports. Um, Moira we see quite frequently. Mercy kind of pops in and out a little bit, so maybe we'll see a different support coming in with this being a... Uh, let's see, which one's this one? A control map, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is a control so, map. And I wonder, it's just kind of like we were talking before, the issues with the tank position, the fact that we're kind of bring, having someone different play the support, because one of our main support players, uh, Granny Sinani, is out of town as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that also limits the options that we have because uh, Granny has a really good diverse uh, support pool. Like uh, he plays Baptiste very well, mm -hmm. but he'll also do like Zenyatta, Mora, and so forth. But I think I think Shadow Angel is our other support. We'll double check here in just a second. Uh, yeah, and like she's very strong with Mora, mm -hmm. and I think Mercy. That's that's about it. So we see Brimstone. He looks like he's going with a Brigitte uh, for this one. Okay. And then we're still seeing uh, tank wise or Arissa and uh, mm -hmm. Sigma, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like uh, we do have a Doomfist from Marietta this time yeah. as well as a Junkrat. So. I do know that Chuck's uh, Chuck's favorite champions are those that kind of like go in the back line. So Doomfist is one of his favorite champions. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. He's also really good with Hanzo, McCree. But I think this map does favor Doomfist just because of how open it is, and he's just be able to maneuver around. But we'll see um, how that affects uh, this round. So we got 10 seconds to the control point unlocked, so... Yeah, so both sides are already trying to contest for it. Mm -hmm. so right. pick coming in from each side. Yeah, it's a one-for-one one trade. 
You see Doomfist going into the back line here, trying to do some damage. Mm -hmm. uh, gets a little bit of damage, but nothing, no secured kills here. He is taken out by the Reaper. <clears throat> All right, so as of right now, we're having a big contest on the uh, the point right now. Neither team able to capture it yet. We're trying to get everyone pushed off. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see a lot of shields going down for Sigma, Orisa trying to minimize that damage. Uh, wow, a lot of kills yeah, going out for Brimstone right there. <clears throat> hitting hard against uh, uh, Aquinas. Yeah, so they actually got a team kill from that and was able to get the uh, the control point first. That's awesome. So, uh, so let's get the control point and just get the percentages rolling. We can get an early lead here for Marietta. We'll see uh, the regroup push here from Aquinas and what happens uh, if they change anything up or they just get a strong push coming back in here. You see Brimstone and Lodge April. with the death, the death Blossom coming out and taking out uh, all of Marietta. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was just actually just well played there yes, by Aquinas. Because I think what they did, so they used Orissa to group everyone together mm -hmm. and then brought in um, the, the Death Blossom yeah. to finish off everyone. So that was just very well coordinated there by Aquinas. Two ultis coming in together and being able to but take Marietta out Marietta has three ready to go. Now Marietta did get a, a good little lead there of 34%. So... Uh, they have some time to be able to group up and get their push back in here. It's just a matter of uh, finding the right time, utilizing their ultis just like uh, Aquinas did. A lot of damage being spread between both teams. The Reaper taking out one. We do see a lot of ultis still available for Marietta. Mm -hmm. um, but several Marietta is going down. Looks like Marion is getting a couple of kills, so mm -hmm. they should be able to clean this Marianne up and retake the point. point. Yeah. Chuck's playing very well as this Doomfist on a five player kill streak. Yeah, and Chuck's going to be going down, down there. there. <laughs> Although Aquinas is going to be using their Meteor Strike. So they're actually able to push back. <clears throat> With S Sigma and Reaper uh, coming in here, causing some problems for Marietta right there. Mm -hmm. uh, able to push, the, push them off the point and keep keep this point in their favor right now. So we're back up to 50. We're at a tie game right now with the, the points, so Mary doesn't have too much time to be able to regroup and push back in. I don't know. What do we have as far as ultis for We Mary have uh, Sigma and Mora, and now Brigitte just got hers up, so I would expect all three of them to be burned in this next push. Mm -hmm. And Junkrat's got his coming in a few seconds here. Yes. And we see Riptire's ready to go as well. Interesting to see what he does here. That, their team pushing up, but... Actually, Aquinas just made a really good push and was able to take out three from Marietta. Yeah, Sigma had a very good push there with his, uh, his ulti, and then he came in here doing some damage of his own as a tank. Let's see, Marietta does not have a lot of time, but they might be able to make a last push and cap the point in their favor. So. They're going to need to be getting on this point here soon because we're already at 97%, and if they don't contest it, then it's going to... And they just weren't able to get there in time. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's going to go for the, the first part of this match here. We'll see uh, with the new objective point mm -hmm. if Meredith can kind of mm -hmm. turn around. They got an early lead on that one. Got it up to 55%. Uh, then just, just they weren't able to get back in there. They kept getting mm -hmm. pushed off. And it does not look like they're going <clears> to <throat> change any of their team composition. Um, the true struggle. I believe yeah. it. They did work well as a team that game. It was just uh, a lot of the uh, ulti timings um, against Marietta were just well timed. They caught them either all together, and then you know, like like the uh, the death blossom that we had that killed mm -hmm. off all of Marietta. Mm -hmm. Like just some good plays with that timing their ultis at the good at a good time. So if Marietta can maybe do the same thing, they had several ultis, but we didn't really see them accumulating any kills. Or at least not a, a team kill, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't think the issue is the composition. It's about positioning and coordinating alt. So mm -hmm. we'll have to see if they can clean this up. Because if, they, if they're not able to, then Aquinas is going to take the match. Because this is a, uh, a map that Merida has to take if they want to stay in this game. And right now, they're on the point uh, contesting it. But they're going to have to make sure they watch their positioning very carefully. Because we see that Reaper is there for Aquinas, so he's going to try to get his Death Blossom ready. And actually, three for Marietta are already down. 
And Marion is just not able to secure any kills. Mm -mm. No, Reaper was able to come in from the back while they were all shooting up on the ledge, and they all took a lot of damage from that Reaper. Meanwhile, there, the uh, the enemy teams, I believe Doomfist, came in from the front and was able to just start uh, dealing out damage. <clears throat> so now Aquinas' objective is going to be to try to keep Marietta off the point, because if they can just keep them away from contesting, then they're going to be able to hang on to the point longer. It looks like Chucks is actually switching to McCree. You are right. He is going with McCree. Going for a little bit more of the, the range damage rather than being in the middle of the of the fray, perhaps trying to utilize more mm -hmm. of the shields. So right now Marietta is kind of stuck in the stairwell, not able to get out. Oh, yeah, they're trapped and all the damage is coming right down there. Do you see the shields trying to get pushed through while uh, Sigma and Arisa try to get their team moved up? But uh, we're going to see a lot of Marietta falling and still getting pushed back, mm -hmm. uh, back towards their spawn. Marietta's going to have to regroup here and uh, figure out exactly what to do to see if they could cap this point because it just keeps, uh, keeps going. So. Yeah. yeah, so we have Marietta attempting to try another direction, see if they can come around rather than that uh, stairwell chokehold that they were stuck on. Okay, so um, the rally come out, so this is Marietta's time to push, especially if they have a numbers advantage. Mm -hmm. We do get Marietta on the point, and they are capturing. It gets contested, though, so they're going to get this Reaper off of here. Mm -hmm. Doomfist coming in, cleaning one up. We do see Reaper taking out several, as well as uh, Doomfist taking out a couple more. We're going to see Marietta falling and having to regroup again. They almost had the capture there. Mm -hmm. They got about three-quarters of the way through, but the contesting from uh, Reaper hopping on there, um, able to use his, uh, his little shadow walk thing so that he can't get tapped. Uh, was able to hold that point for a little bit until he but, could do damage. Yeah. But now they have 4%. They have to get onto the point right now, otherwise the match goes to Aquinas. And I don't think Marietta's going to be able to get onto there at all. that's going to be it. <clears throat> and that's going to be... Uh, that will be, be it. it there. 2-0. Uh, I think a lot of that was just uh, the coordinations of Altis kind of mm -hmm. weren't happening. Um, it could have been a little bit as well with maybe some shield placements, uh, being able to alternate the shields so that they're minimizing the damage as much as they can. Uh, but yeah, Marietta, as far as like, uh, as far as getting some good pushes in there and being able to take out the teams like at the same time, mm -hmm. like they would take out a couple, but then they'd get flanked from behind by like a Reaper or a Doomfist, and then Marietta would fall after having only taken out like two of the enemy teams. Yeah, so. there just wasn't any follow-up. So, yeah. like, when they had the numbers advantage, like, they just weren't able to get... Like, usually if you can get one or two down, you should win the fight. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to clean up the rest, and they just weren't able to do that. The Aquinas was able to stall long enough for those who, who did go down to come back to re-engage into the fights, and then they were just right back to 6v6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that will be it uh, for today. So thank you for watching his unfortunate loss for Marietta, mm -hmm. but... I mean, I think also part of it is just because the roster, is, it's not the, the starting lineup that we usually have since two of our uh, main players are out. So, I mean, when mm -hmm. you kind of have, I don't want to say second string, but it kind of was like that, then that could ver could possibly be a, an outcome, which is yeah, what we saw here. Fine. Well, when you get some, like, you know, as far as playing DPS, you might have a bigger roster on your DPS selection that you're familiar with and comfortable playing. Mm -hmm. But then when you're switched over to being a tank or a support character, well, I'm familiar with these two and that's all I've got but you know you probably really need that third or fourth pick mm -hmm. for this situation or something so oh yeah definitely. yeah so just as a programming note uh, I think I mentioned here uh, earlier so we do not have any more matches today tomorrow our League of Legends team will be playing against Aquinas at 3 p.m. in the afternoon so please be sure to come back uh, to check that out and then Monday at 9 p.m. we'll be playing against Aquinas in Rocket League okay. so that will be interesting because uh, I believe they're playing on Sunday. Uh, Aquinas is playing on Sunday for the national championship. So we may be going up against the national champions in Rocket <laughs> League. So that could be very interesting to watch. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see mm -hmm. what they do there. But we have that. And then we'll have our Rainbow Six match later this week. We don't know when it is yet. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we get that, uh, we'll be sure to let you know. Uh, so for all those latest updates, please be sure to follow us on on our social media pages. So Twitter at Marriott Esports, Facebook at Marriott College Esports. All of our matches will be up on our YouTube channel. So this match day will be up there next week. So you can follow that. Uh, so any support is uh, greatly appreciated. We have a lot of exciting things coming uh, for the esports program. Mm -hmm. 
We actually got mock-ups for our jerseys. They look awesome. Good. So we're hoping to get that set up. We're hoping to get some more equipment in the, the room soon. So we got some big plans for next semester. So definitely. your guys' support is uh, definitely appreciated. All right. So uh, that'll be it for us so from all of us here. Thank you for watching. We mm -hmm. hope to see you tomorrow for our League of Legends match. Yes, at 3 p.m., right? Yes, at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm.